You're in an accident and a tow truck shows up. You think it's there to help, but that may not always be the case. Some drivers say their cars are being towed away and then stored until they fork over thousands of dollars. The I-Team's Lolita Lopez shows us how it works and how to avoid it. And right away, as soon as I pulled off before I could call my insurance, a tow truck came. Gladys Bermudez was on the 605 when a car sideswiped her. A tow truck driver told Gladys he worked with her insurance company, and within minutes, he hooked up her car and hauled it away. In that shock of that moment that it just happened, and he told me, you're not in a good spot, you're going to get hit again. But Gladys found out that tow company didn't work with her insurance company. It did tow her car to a shop 20 miles away. The cost for the tow, nearly $1,000. It's been emotionally distressful. I feel helpless. It still felt like my car was stolen, and now it was being held hostage. Jay Phelan was T-boned at this intersection on Wilshire Boulevard. A tow truck showed up, saying her insurance company called, but that wasn't true. He's like a predator who uh, preys on people who are in, in horrible, unfortunate situations. LAPD calls what happened to these two drivers predatory towing, and it's illegal in L.A. All right, roger that. We're set. Just, uh... They tell the I-Team tow companies listen for accidents on police scanners and pounce. The I-Team was with the LAPD who staged an accident, then put it out on scanners. I don't even think I could drive it right now. One tow truck checked out the scene, but then left. Police say some companies know they are watching. We're prosecuting cases right now. L.A. City Attorney Mike Fuhrer is watching, too. His office has filed criminal charges against SoCal Inner City Tow, the company that picked up Jay's car and the same company police say we saw checking out the fake accident. A court date is pending. Fuhrer's office says SoCal Inner City Tow has not yet responded to the charges, and it did not respond to our calls for comment. I don't know how someone can do that as their job and just live day to day and think everything is, is okay. These predatory toes are only one part of the story. There's another player in what's happening, the body shop where the cars are towed. They sometimes charge drivers outrageous, officials say even illegal fees to get their cars back. They're charging me 260 because they disconnected the battery. Look at Gladys's bill. It escalated to $3,100. The Body Shop Auto Pro charged fees that included teardown for taking off her front bumper and other work the shop said it performed. The problem? Gladys says she didn't authorize any of it. It's very clear that no work shall be done and no charges shall accrue before authorization to proceed is obtained from the customer. Matthew Gibson is an investigator with the Bureau of Automotive Repair, the agency that regulates body shops. While he has not investigated Gladys's case... If we have a facility that's engaging in predatory business practices, we seek to take administrative action to revoke or suspend that registration. I was willing to give, you know, as much as I could, but this is too much. The I-Team went with Gladys to get her car back. AutoPro released it, charging her nothing. The shop declined our repeated request for an interview. They're taking advantage of people that are hardworking, that are just trying to make a buy. Um, it's not fair. I don't want this to happen to anybody else. Here's what you need to know if you're caught in a similar situation. The city attorney says when a tow truck shows up, get the name of the company and how much they're going to charge you. By law, they have to tell you and that number cannot change. It's best to get this in writing. At the body shop, it can only charge for storage fees. Anything else requires your approval.